Hi, welcome to this Arc Linux system. It's uh, LXQT, it doesn't really matter what desktop it is. It's just Arch Linux with some spices from Arc Linux. And then I choose a desktop. There are 14 desktops to choose from. The video is a response to somebody uh, who's new, who's uh, so welcome in the Arc Linux family. And he's talking about Minecraft. And I thought I had made a video about it years ago because my son is into it and I had installed it on Arch Linux or Arco Linux. So here it is, it's a Minecraft video. So how do you approach things like that? You go and Google Arch Linux micro, uh, Minecraft, sorry, craft. I already know it's gonna be a Java thing, but let's see what they have here on the Arch Wiki. Minecraft client can be installed with Minecraft Launcher AOR package. It provides official game launcher, a script to launch a proper desktop file. Alternative, alternatively, you can also install the Microsoft AOR package. Okay, there's a firewall stuff. If you want to have, uh, want to play with somebody else, right? You need to get through your firewall. So port 445 is important. If this is closed, you can't communicate with the rest of the world. Seems obvious. And then the Minecraft server can be installed with the Minecraft server AWAR package, provide additional system D things and set up. So let's see how far we can get and run this thing. I don't see any Java stuff, right? So moving it back to the screen, control find Java. Okay, troubleshooting. Minecraft should run with uh -huh, latest Java, blah, blah, blah. So number 10. Then you should take this one. Eight is going to work guaranteed in all cases. We'll just see today, July 2019, what's going to happen. So, J Minecraft. <coughs> I was just saying online that we also have Trizen. There are two A War helpers. And so you choose, and it's good that we have two, so we can have an, uh, a fallback. So that's one, that's another one. And this one seems to be outdated, but it can be that it's just because it's yesterday. Look at the date, look at the date, right? So they have set a month ago, this is out of date and it keeps, well, out of date, but it has the most votes. Now on our, Arch Wiki. Scrolling back up. They are going to tell anyway, take this one, the official Minecraft launcher, right? So I'm going to take number three. It's going to use Java. So I don't have to think about that. It's going to install the eight, number eight. That's important for us to know. We are on eight, not on 10. And let's go for it. We don't care as long as it does. It works, right? <clears throat> All the processors are going berserk. The cores, of course. It would be great if it would have eight processors. It would fly by. So we have now a Minecraft something, right? Let's have, let's type mine and then twice on tap. Okay, I have a Minecraft launcher. Enter. Boof. Login. Um. Yeah. Let me. Go and fetch me a password and a login and see if everything works. So that means I have to pause here. So I put in my password, login and password, and some news, Java edition settings. English OK. The launcher date from June. All right, uh, how to get back. This one, installations, latest release, new sword buy, skins. Uh-huh, patch notes, uh-huh. Fine, so I went over the menu a little bit. He's downloading some more stuff, 258 megabyte, which is nothing. 
So it doesn't really matter what uh, what you're on. It could easily be on Arch Linux or Manjaro or anything Arch based because we're all using the same thing. We're all using the Arch repos and then the AWAR repos, which uh, actually we could have a look at. Always interesting to know. I always want to know. Just start typing Minecraft and it starts looking. I always wonder where things coming from. So we double click and it's the source is coming Mojang, dependencies, all these stuff, and then the files. So he's loading, we have some time. So these are the things it's installed in opt. That's nice to know. It's not in user bin or anything. So it's in a separate place on our system called opt. And so Discord is here, Dropbox is here, Google, Minecraft, Spotify, Sublime Text, Temps, and Vivaldi. These things are here. And it has Locales, native blob, bin, snapshot, blob. And the launcher itself is then a user bin. And we get a Microsoft launcher desktop, which means in the games, where are the games? Here it is. In the games Minecraft launcher is there because of the, this little file that is in here so at the meantime oh yeah by the way if we are on LXQT you don't have a button to close this stuff it's like on GNOME you just close right mouse click somewhere here that doesn't work doesn't work here it works okay close let's go for single player it's a totally different uh, tutorial to set up servers and all that so I'm gonna create a new world of course, it needs to have a name. Eric's brand new world. Game mode survival, hardcore, creative. Let's go hardcore for a bit. Create new world. So this thing is still working because of I, I launched it from the terminal, which is always interesting to know. Because when you launch, it's going to be um, telling you things. And sometimes you see elements in there, you say, oh, I can fix this or I can fix that. So that's interesting. Now, where is my application gone? It's gone to the bottom here. Open up, my friend. He is closing down. Maybe because of this, probably. I don't know. So, so let's close. Super Escape is a skull. Let's close the application. Minecraft is closed. And open up like this. Play. And he is there. Okay. <laughs> I need to be able to maximize it somehow. Oh, that's better already. Single player. Eric's brand new world. Play selected world, probably. Wonder if I can do full screen these things. I don't recall them. Years ago I've done this. Maybe we can get rid of the bar. How did this work again? The Z and this is D and this is Q and this is S. So and then clicking on the mouse was going things and then I believe Z and a shift. Oops, let's not get it in the water. Was it shift? No. Was the control? No. Was it caps lock? I could run some point. This was ducking, I think. Ducking. There was a running kind of thing. This is jumping, space bar. Near there are some. What is this? What are you? Chicken? Chicken, 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 chicken. Let's eat chicken tonight. Ah! <laughs> there is a hate relation here with my chicken she doesn't understand I need to kill her I can change things to click with maybe that's the reason oh my god my son would love me watching this how noob I am ah I got something finally I got some meat I thought she fell down but no I got some meat it says so Escape maybe, um, options, skin, uh, difficulty, hard, music, skin, video, controls. 
Strafe right, sprint, left control. Okay, that one. I thought I pressed that one. Back to the game. And then move forwards. Ah, that's faster. Correct. Then we can go to this mountain that looks wonderful. But let's, let's not waste our video time here. Uh, you see it works. It's just a fun thing to do. Maybe you play it already. Maybe you can give people some tips behind in the, in the bottom of the uh, of the video. You know gaming is not my thing, but installing is something technical I love. But I don't know how many times I should hit this thing here. Or if I'm actually clicking with the right. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, check your recipe book. Yeah, I remember he had some kind of recipe book somewhere. Probably another option and, and control and recipe book, recipe book, recipe book, recipe book. Open, close inventory, E. And that's uh, what you're always looking at. All the elements you could find. Okay, let's call it a day. Uh, fun to do. Save and quit. And you can, of course, then move on to other things like multiplayer, which is, well, out of the scope of the video. Just uh, wanted to show people, yes, Minecraft works on Arch. So there you go. Have fun.